in this video we will discuss the problem pre order to bst so the problem says that we will be given an array which will consist n nodes representing the pre order traversal of some bst and our task is to build the exact same bst from its given pre order traversal and the in order traversal is nothing but the root is visited visited before the left child and the right child so basically we know that in a pre order traversal what we do is first of all we have the root okay then we have the left and then we have the right so what we have to do is we have to build a pre order like we have to we have to do what we have to simply build the bst from this given pre order so one of the very basic ways can be let's first of all take this sample example for better understanding so suppose this is the sample example that we have been given so in this case when we have been given the values as 40 30 35 80 and 100 so if we have been given these values so we can make the tree from the given data what we can do is first of all we can try and see so initially when we look at it so initially the root is null initially there is nothing so we can put, we can simply put 40 there okay after this we can move to the next node so when we move to 30 so we can observe that 30 is lesser than 40 so since 30 is lesser than 40 so we'll place it on the left side after that when we move forward so we'll observe 35 is there so we st will start again from 40 so we can see that 35 uh, is uh, lesser than 40 so it'll, it will lie on the left then we encounter 30 so when we see 30 so 35 is greater than 30 so 35 will come towards the right side after this what we can observe is we will get the value as 80 so for, again for 80 we will start from the root so let's say we start from 40 then for 80 what will happen is we will first of all see for 40 is lesser than 80 so it will lie to the right so we will place 80 here after this the next value will be 100 so we check it with the root value so actually it is 100 so we need to move towards the right side then we check for 80 as well so 80 is lesser than 100 so we need to place 100 towards the right side and if we overall observe this part so we can simply say that this will be the this will be the tree that is 40 30 80 35 and 100 let's check this out so you can see that the tree that is made is 40 30 like 40 then 30 is the left child then we have 80 as the right child then we have 35 as the left child right child of 30 and we have 100 as the right child of 80 so this is how we can do it but this traversal will take a lot of time in the worst case why because suppose if the tree kept on building like this if the tree kept on building in this manner where the tree was skewed if it was just in one direction like this if this was the tree and it the new nodes that were coming it kept they kept on building up like this the new nodes that came they kept on adding to the right side of the tree in this way it would have been a skewed tree and for one like for one time for one node uh, i would have taken order of n traversal so if there are n nodes and i'm traversing for them so in the worst case the traversal would have been order of n square which is quite a lot but this approach will get accepted and is also a good approach to begin with so i will quickly show you the code for this approach that is order of n square time so you can see here i have written it already so what we will do is we will be given this function and if the size if the pre-order array is zero then we can simply return null because that will indicate that there is no node otherwise what we will do is initially we will mark the root as null and we will simply iterate for all the values of the array right we will iterate for all the elements of the array given pre-order array and we will say that our root will get updated to this make bst function so what we will do is we will initially like we will pass the current root okay and we will pass the value the ith value and in this function you can observe what is happening is if the current root is null then we need to make the new root okay then we need to make the new root and we need to simply return okay this will happen in the beginning after that if suppose that the uh, if suppose current root is not null and if the current uh, root data is greater than the value right if it is uh, if it is greater or equal to the value in that case what we can say is in that case the value is lesser so if the value that i want like if the value that is the prefix of like if that is the pre order of i if the value that i want to develop if the new node value that i want to develop if it is lesser in that the root data is greater in that case i need to move towards the left side that is very obvious so we will say that we will make call to the left side and whatever we get from there we will insert it to the left of the tree otherwise if if uh, the data if the, it is opposite 
if the value is not lesser or equal to the root data in that case we will insert that particular node in the right side so we will say that root right is equal to make bst function this will be the recursive function that will be called and once the process is done so we will simply return the root and this will follow for all the n nodes and this approach will take order of n square time as i have discussed now this there are two more ways of doing this particular question so what we can do is we know that we have been given what we have been given the pre order traversal for this particular tree right we have been given the pre order traversal and since we know that this is what like this array is a bst right basically we have to develop what we have to develop it for bst and we know that the in order traversal we know that the in order traversal like if we want to develop a particular tree let's say so we know that if we know the in order and the pre order traversal then we can easily develop our tree but in this case we do not know the in order traversal but can we get a pre in order traversal yes we know that in a bst the in order traversal is in ascending order right so if we have this data the data is for the nodes of the bst so we can say that if we sort this array if we sort the pre order array if we store it in an order and we sort it so the data will look something like this 30 35 then it would be 40 it will be 80 and it will be 100 like like this so we can observe that this data will be nothing but the in order because since this data will get sorted into ascending order so we can say that the in order traversal of a bst is ascending right it, if it is stored in an array so it comes in ascending order so now we will have the in order traversal as well as the pre order traversal and we all, obviously we know how to build the tree from in order and pre order traversal when both of them are given to us but this approach has a drawback the drawback is that in this since we are sorting so it will take order of n log n time okay plus we will also be making the tree so that will take under another order of n time and that is quite a lot and instead in, apart from this we will also take the space complexity as order of n because we will be developing this in order array so still this seems to be an inefficient approach so instead of doing this what we can try to do is we can try to do it more optimally let's see how so we know that suppose this particular tree has been this data has been given so we know that for the root of the tree for the root of the tree we will have the options from negative infinity till positive infinity correct we have the option for the for the tree for the root of the tree we'll have options from negative infinity till positive infinity so we will keep on traversing one by one in the left and the right direction and we will try to traverse the array as well one by one so we will traverse so once we get 40 so if we get 40 so we can see that it is lying in this range so we can place 40 here and then towards the left side we can simply have what towards the left side we can have uh, like towards the left side we can say that the data can lie in the range minus uh, like minus infinity till 39 correct and towards the right side the data can lie in the range 41 starting from 41 till positive infinity okay now what we will do is we will say that we will call towards the left side first of all so this data i am uh, like this data will be developed instantly when i call for the left and right but i am telling you for imagination so now we come to 30 the moment we come to 30 so you can observe that 30 is lying in this range so we will immediately add 30 here okay so you can observe that 40 was built then we have built 30 here right after this what we can observe is like since 30 is there so since 30 is built now if i see for the left so in the left what i can have is now i can have minus infinity till 29 these values i can have and in the right side i can have the values from 31 till positive infinity correct after this what we will do is we will simply observe this part we have been given the data like this so 40 is made then 30 is what we have made after this we can observe that the next value that we get is nothing but 35 now when we get 35 so if we if from this 30 we move to the left so in this case we can see that this range uh like is minus infinity till 29 so 35 cannot lie in this range so we can simply say that if the range is exceeded in that case you can simply insert a null right we can simply say that this is null so in this case we can see that for 30 its left is nothing but null after that if i see in the right side uh, in the right side so i can have the range as 31 till 39 right so if i see 35 so 35 is lying inside this range so simply we can say that we can insert 35 here okay so after that towards the right side of 30 35 will be inserted after this we'll keep on incrementing our i so when we increment our i so it moves to 80 so if it moves to 80 so if we try to draw it down so like what will be the ranges so the range uh, like range here the left range here will be from 30 uh, 32 like 31 the left range here will be from 31 till 
and the right range here will be from 36 till 39 correct because i have used already 35 so 36 till 39 now what we can observe one thing is when we are at 80 so if i move to the left here so again i can say that it is not lying in the range right 80 is above 80 is outside the range so i can simply insert a null here right so for 35 i can have a null you can imagine that now if i move to the right as well so if i move to the right after that so i can observe that this is the right part is also not in the range so i can insert a null here right after this what we will do is we'll backtrack we'll move back so when i when i come back so after that the left traversal has been done so after that we will move to the right part when we move to the right so i see that 80 is lying in this range so since 80 is lying in the current range so what we can simply do is since 80 is lying in the range so we'll simply insert a node 80 here so towards the right uh, towards the right of 40 we'll insert 80 because that is the node that is there after this we will again uh, redefine the ranges so the range for the left child of 80 can be from 41 till uh, 79 okay and the range for the right child can be from 81 till positive infinity so here we, if we observe so we are getting a value next value as 100 so if we get 100 so we can observe simply that 100 will be inserted where 100 can be inserted only here so we'll insert 100 uh, like if we see for the left child so for 80 if we see on the left child so obviously it cannot be inserted so here we'll insert simply a null and then if we see on the right like then we'll go to the right after that when we go to the right so you can observe that 100 will be inserted here because it is like it is lying in this range and after this we can see that our array will also get exhausted so we'll simply insert 100 towards the right of 80 and this is how the tree will look like and in fact you can see that uh, if we look at the sample test case so 40 was there 40 had the left child on 30 and right child is 80 okay after this 30 had the right child as 35 and 80 had the right child as 100 so this is the tree that we have developed from this traversal so let us try and write the code for this particular approach as well so what we will be doing here is we will be given simply the function so what we will be doing here is we will simply first of all try to do the traversal so first of all we will initially mark the int i as 0 okay after this what we will do is we will initially mark the minimum range as int min okay that is nothing but the uh, negative infinity and we will mark the maximum mx as nothing but int max once we have updated the minimum and the maximum range so we'll say that okay we'll call a recursive function uh, which will be doing the traversal from left to right so we'll, uh, we'll say that okay the root that will be developed from this particular function the root is equal to nothing but the recursive function that i'll call in this i'll need to pass the prefix array i need to pass the size of the prefix array i need to pass the i that is the index current index that i'm at i need to pass the minimum in, uh, minimum range and the maximum range currently after this tree is developed so we can simply return the root of this tree so what we will be doing here is we will simply say that we will have a node right it will be returning a node so we'll say that recursively we'll call this function so int uh, first of all we'll pass the prefix array right like uh, pre-order array that consists of the pre-order traversal of the bst we'll pass the size as n okay you can also take this uh, variable as size we'll pass the value i as well okay and then we'll pass the minimum of the range and we'll pass the maximum of the range that we can have okay now if uh, it happens suppose if it happens that i is greater or equal to n okay if i is greater or equal to n then we can simply say that we have reached uh, the position where the child should be null because we have iterated through the array other than this if suppose that the minimum element is greater like if the minimum uh, if the minimum of this current range the current range is mi comma mx so if the minimum like if the minimum is greater than the current pref uh, like uh, current uh, node that i want current value that i want to insert in that case i need to return from this call okay by inserting a null and if the prefix of i or if it happens that the prefix of i is greater than the mx right so if the current value that i want to insert uh, if the current node that i am at uh, that i want to insert if it is having the value which is greater than the than the maximum value of this range in that case also i can simply say that i will return nothing but null from here after this is done so what we will be doing is we'll say that we'll create a node right we'll create the root uh, like current root so we'll say that uh, node star root is equal to nothing but new node and that will be nothing but pre uh, like pre-order of i the current ith node i'll develop and i'll uh, increment my i as well after this what we need to do is we need to call for the left so we'll say that whatever we call like we'll call the recursive function for the left guy and once we get uh, some node from the left 
so we'll immediately add it to the left uh, child of the current root so now we need to call for the left because we have developed the current root so we'll pass the prefix array we'll pass the size as n we'll pass the minimum range will remain the same if i'm going to the left so you can observe that the minimum will remain the same and the maximum that i can accommodate now is nothing but root uh, uh, current root data minus one correct and uh, similarly i'll call for the roots right okay when i call for the right so i'll call the recursive function i'll call the pre-order like uh, like a uh, pre-order like pre-order array i'll pass i'll pass n i'll pass the root data like uh, if i'm if i'm passing this thing so i will here pass what i'll uh, like in this case the if i'm moving obviously you can see that if i'm moving to the left chain if i'm moving to the left so the left uh, if i'm moving to the left chain so you can observe that when i'm moving to the left in that case my uh, minimum value was the same and the maximum value was getting updated you can see this in case if i'm moving to the left so minimum remains the same the maximum value always get uh, gets updated and if i'm moving to the right chain if i'm moving to the right so in that case my minimum uh, like my minimum gets updated and the maximums remains the same right you can see when i'm moving to the right so maximum value remains the same mx like and the minimum gets updated so minimum will get updated here as well so the minimum here will uh, get updated to nothing but root data current root data minus one and i'll keep the maximum as the same if i'm moving to the right side and then once this root has been uh, processed and it has uh, it has the left and the right child made for it then we'll simply return this root value let us try and compile this code to see if there is any error in this code or not okay so we are getting some errors here which we need to fix so okay so let's quickly check this out so what we'll be what we have done is like in the line number for uh, 141 we are getting some error so in the line number 141 we are getting this error that is root left is equal to i've passed the recursion i've passed the uh, okay i have not passed the i value here so i need to after n i need to pass the i value as well here as uh, in the downside as well in the uh, in the right function as well i also need to pass the index current index that i am at in the prefix uh, like in the pre order array uh, now there's one more error let's quickly fix it up so it says that root data okay so i should use an arrow here now let's try and compile it to see what happens so you can see that our solution uh, seems to work on the samples let's try and submit it as well so you can see that our solution was able to pass all the test cases in case if you understood this, this explanation so make sure to hit the like button and comment down understood as well thank you